What is up you guys? My name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm going to be going over 10 ways to make sure that you have a playlist made for you. So the first thing you want to look at is what exactly is your music taste? What genres do you listen to the most? So me personally, I listen to kind of pop punk ish kind of things i guess and rap i say that loosely but that's kind of what i listen to that's my music taste um and so when you're making yours you know you want it to be some like the music tastes that you listen to the most so like say you like country you know you wouldn't put heavy metal on it unless you like both you know you if you like Ariana Grande, you wouldn't put Metallica on it unless you like both and you want both on your playlist. But, you know, it's it's something that defines you, like the music taste that you listen to the most or like the genres you listen to the most. The second one is what do you like to do for fun? You know, I run track, I dance, um, I write a lot. So I kind of base my playlist off of things that I do the most, which happen to be those three things. And... It helps me, you know, stay motivated and stay inspired when I do that. So, yeah. The next thing you want to do, uh, three and four, are pick your top three artists and your top three songs. Because if you pick those six things, essentially, you'll know how to make your playlist, you know, to base it around. It kind of brings together, you know, the basis of your playlist. And if you do it on Spotify, I don't know if it does this on Apple Music, but I know that it might do it on YouTube. Um, it'll give you suggestions and, you know, you can find songs that you listen to f just from finding those, your top three artists and your top three songs. So, yeah. Number five is how often do you listen to music? Say, so I listen to music when I take a test, if I'm allowed to, when I, like, when my teacher says, hey, you can listen to music while you do this worksheet, like, I'll listen to music then. Um, I listen to music pretty much 24 7 i almost always have it going um yeah it's kind of like the basis so like say you like to listen to music you know when you're doing math you know you want something that won't distract you from doing that essentially but still you know you like it and it helps you keep going so six is how often you listen to music kind of like the last thing like how often do you listen to music like when you do your things so like I said I listen to it when I dance when I uh run when I do worksheets and stuff but if you know you are doing a worksheet and it distracts you then obviously it can't you know balance out with you know me you know running track so like I can't listen to all I want from like high school musical the music of the series running but I can listen to it while I do a worksheet and that doesn't balance out so you know I don't put that on my playlist however I listen to that song a lot um so number seven is does each song on that playlist make you feel something most of the time you're gonna want to be happy so like I'll go with that so in this specific playlist the happy playlist does each song make you feel happy or good about yourself or just pumped up and energetic in a way if you can't say yes to each song on that playlist then obviously that song should not be on that specific playlist number eight is how long do you want your playlist so i have one playlist that's nearly three hours and then i have a playlist that's consists of like three songs you know for different things so when you're making your playlist, you want to take into account, you know, do you want this playlist for, you know, super long road trips? Do you want it for an hour and a half? Do you want it, you know, for only about 30 minutes? And you have to take into account how often you listen to the music and how long you listen to the music. Uh, number nine is, would you skip any song on your playlist? And there are a couple songs that I can say yes to that on my playlist, but that's because the song has to represent the mood that I listen to. But I wouldn't just be like, I don't like this song, 
I'm gonna skip it. I don't want it on my playlist because then I won't want it on my playlist. And the last one is does it feel like you or is it somebody you wish you were? So like I have a playlist that says fantasy, fantasy self and then I have my regular one. On my fantasy self playlist that's when I get into like the actual rap like you know Post Malone and the TikTok music I guess you know the weekend I have things like that on my fantasy self playlist and I do have you know some on like my actual playlist because I do listen to some music you know off of TikTok because why not also if you can hear my little brother I apologize but um you know I have one for who I want to be and I have one for who I actually am and they work at different times so when you make your overall playlist you know for the one that you listen to the most that consists of your favorite songs you know does it feel like you you know would you skip any song on it because it doesn't feel like you you know does it make you feel like yourself does it match your music taste and if you can say yes to those things then like that song deserves to be on your playlist you know those songs deserve to be on your playlist so that is all for today's video it's kind of random i just didn't feel like doing anything today so i made this uh, i hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe down below all my social media will also be down below and i will see you next time whenever that may be bye